Welcome back, King of Fighters fans. This go round, I'm going to take a look at King of Fighters Neo Wave. Now, a lot of you probably have never ever heard of this game, and rightfully so because at the time it came out, the arcades were pretty much dead. Um, to me, and probably a lot of other King of Fighters fans, this game is kind of viewed like the redheaded stepchild of the um, the King of Fighters series. And when I mean redhead stepchild, I'm talking about full-fledged red hair, freckle face, glasses the fuck up. So, it kind of gets lost. Nobody really even thinks about this game. So, while it's nothing revolutionary or anything that reinvents the wheel, it's still a good game, but in all reality, it's like King of Fighters 98, 2002, super special type of um, game. Alright, so let's just get into this little bad boy right here. Alright, I'm gonna go for team play. Also, there's, um, like 40 plus characters, um, hidden ones that you have to go through, um, a survival mode in order to unlock. I've done that, so I've unlocked them. There's, um, a new button because of the Atomus, um, Wave hardware, which was actually developed by Sammy, and I think in conjunction with Sega. So there's actually a five button layout. So this extra button that's featured on here is um, called Heat Mode, where it turns your character like blinking red. And while you can inflict a lot of um, offensive damage, you still deplete health by the same token, but minimum. And also, there's three uh, selectable um, mode select Super Cancel which I believe that you can cancel into super special moves. Guard break is just like that in guard break. Max 2, I, I don't exactly know offhand. I don't really use it. I don't actually really use these two. I usually actually use super cancel because I kind of play sort of like um, King of Fighters 98 2002. All right, so let me, uh, uh, what you call it, pick the mode. Also, the final boss character in here is Geese Howard, but it's not the Geese Howard that we know and love. It's actually the young Geese Howard from Art of Fighting 2 that you fight, who's the actually real boss. So he's real young, you know, and I'll show you the little thing as you can see right there. So it's the young Geese Howard. While it's a cool thing, it's really not that cool because he's not an original boss. So, and it's the effect of Art of Fighting 2 and fighting me at the end of this game doesn't have that same effect. It was more dramatic in Art of Fighting 2. Here, it's just, they just threw him the hell in. Here's some extra characters such as um, Raymond, uh, Vanessa, uh, Seth, Angel, uh, Omega Rugal, a um, couple other ones. Also, the Orochi team. Okay. This one I know Kit171 will like. It's Vice Mature. But, um, basically, uh, it's kind of like a remix. Pick my women's is, as always. Alright, so, basically, yeah, it's just a souped-up version of, I would say, 2002. And the only thing, really, that the Atomus Wave hardware that this is produced on really brings is that the backgrounds are they're polygon they're polygon with pre-rendered and which is okay but here's my my always my qualms is is that I don't have a problem if you're going to do that type of style but the problem though is is that it's a habit of SK is to use the same old sprites and if you look at the sprites for the most part, um, they're a carryover from the Neo Geo, so and nothing's changed. The only thing I wish they would have did was is that when they did that, is maybe made the characters in a higher resolution, so making them kind of match the game's backgrounds and all, so at least it wouldn't look so dated. That's in my opinion, but some may or may not complain. It's you know. Teach his own. Um, each of the backgrounds, as you see, changes every match, which I think is kind of exclusive to the 
the uh, PlayStation and Xbox version. Now, the Xbox version was the first um, port of this game. Well, at least for North America. Uh, the PAL regions and Jap Japan got um, this game here but for the PlayStation 2. Now, like I said, like I said, the graphics and all are okay, but a little outdated as far as the background is concerned, especially for a 2000 and let's say four game, and then this coming out to maybe PlayStation about maybe 2000, let's say seven, I believe. So they could have did a little bit better on it. The music. It's actually not bad. It's got a lot of, um, you know, hip hop influence in it. A little bit of jazz, a little bit of rock. So it's got a mix of everything. Some, I'm not saying it's iPod worthy, but it's still, it doesn't really hurt the ears either. Um, like I said, nothing's really anything to change about the game. The only thing that's good about the game is the amount of characters. Is the 40 um, plus characters that you get. Which is really cool, because a lot of times, fighting games kind of skimp on that. Whereas here, there is no skimping on the characters. And I had this for um, Xbox initially, back in the day when it first came out and all. And it was an okay game, but I actually seem to like this one better, because the load times seem to be a bit better than the Xbox version. Um... So, yeah, like, um, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, it might have came to Xbox Live and a couple other things. This is a game that really is probably enjoyed mostly by King of Fighters fans or die-hard fighting game fans because, like I said, um, it doesn't bring anything new to the table, which is kind of unfortunate. Well, it's not one of the ter it's not a terrible game by no means. Uh, King of Fighters um, 11, as a lot of people know, is a really fantastic game, and that's on the same hardware. So this one just keeps it a three-on-three -three style, whereas that game actually kept it to tag matching it like um, King of Fighters uh, 2003. So, do I recommend the game? Absolutely. If you're a really die-hard fighting game fan, the 40-plus characters, the special moves, the pretty decent control, it's all really attractive. I mean, if you can look past the outdated graphics, um, you, you pretty much got a winner here. Like I said, there are flaws to it that the fact of the matter, you've been there, done it before type of, um, how would they say, attitude, but if you give it a try, it's worth a play, definitely. And I do highly recommend it. It, it really is a good game and all that. And like I said, if you can find it for the original Xbox, if you got a Japanese PlayStation 2, you want to check it out. Now, for the Xbox, I don't think it should really cost that much. It's probably pretty much dirt cheap. And uh, the PlayStation 2 one, I got my copy, I think, from Spain. I bid on it, etc. And it's pretty cool. Another thing I don't like is they don't have win quotes. I don't understand why they took that out. But yeah, I advise you to go check this game out. I think you'll really enjoy it. I'm pretty sure it's on the virtual blah blah, PlayStation, whatever, and Xbox, whatever the hell they're doing nowadays. So, definitely check the game out. I highly recommend it. Um, even if you're a um, casual fighting game fan, you'll have some enjoyment out of this game. It's, it, might, it might be only one of those things you play for like a little bit, but I, I think you can really get into it. Alright then, I'm going to leave you with a little bit of gameplay, and I'm out of here.
Alright then, like I said, uh, I'm going to leave it. And I hope you enjoyed. Sorry for the um, little bit of absence. And uh, take care. Till next time.